Alright, check it out. Today we'll be doing a cap test with a wing cap adapter on the Painter's Touch Rust-Oleum cans. Uh, everyone's familiar with these. They are the male valve cans, so it's got a stem on the tip, so uh, there's a hole in the bottom of the cap, but uh, this wing cap adapter bypasses that, so we'll be reviewing it on a bunch of these different caps here. I'll put all the timestamps in which I review those down below in the description. But uh, once again, we got the key line, and we'll get right into it. Um, these are pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll do a first test with uh, the wing cap as itself because it has the two toggles. You can actually spray it without anything uh, on top of it. So let's get into it. We've got the bare wing cap adapter. Let's uh, try it out. So uh, real drippy. Lots of paint comes out as if uh, there's no uh, kind of a blaster cap on the top. So you can see it gets really drippy, and uh, let's get into it. Since there's no real stock tip with the Painter's Touch now with a wing cap adapter, we're just going to use the standard uh, banana skinny first off. We have the Iron Lack Vegan tip. German outline number one. German outline number four. Beige dot, Iron Lack NY Fat, NY Fat, Rusto Fat, Cyclone Fat. Sabotage fat. Blue dot. Black. Hero fat. Pink dot. Gray dot. Black on gray. Sharpshooter. Stock tip without a wing cap. We're gonna finish it out with the Montana level pack. Right. This is Montana yeah. level so. one. Level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and lastly level 6. All right, I hope you enjoyed the wing cap adapter test. Um, I wasn't really able to find a skinny cap I was super satisfied with. The stock tip probably gave the thinnest line in total, um, but it wasn't, you weren't able to get as much control as with the other caps, so I'd have to give it to the Montana Level 1. That's definitely the skinniest line that I was able to produce with uh, the most consistent, I guess, feed to it. And uh, that going for the fat cap, I would have to give it to the Euro fat or the pink dot overall. The fat lines weren't too, too big. Um, the Rusto fat and the original NY fat were both uh, probably the same size, pretty big uh, line there. But definitely not the size you're traditionally seen on uh, graffiti cans. But I mean, works well. It allows you to uh, use your caps with a, with a different valve system. Um, I would definitely suggest having multiple of these. Don't just run off one as uh, changing the caps on them. You pretty much have to take it all the way off the can and then put it back on because if you try and put the cap in this system when it's on the can, it gets about halfway in and then starts spraying. So uh, just keep that in mind. So you need five or 10 at least to run on uh, throw ups or pieces or whatever you uh, please with assorted uh, sizes and whatnot. Um, but that being said, they worked really well. Cool uh, kind of addition then from the set cap adapter to have the toggles on the side. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and uh, that's really going to do it for me. I like how it worked. Um, definitely going to use a darker color next time I do a cap test, as uh, the contrast wasn't too good. I apologize for that. 
But if you have any questions on these, be sure to uh, check out Bombing Science. That's where I got mine from. And uh, they're pretty cheap. I think they were like a buck each. And uh, yeah, that's really going to do it for me. Peace. Got the wing cap on top. Now, damn it. We need to paint the background.